Hey everyone, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you everything there is to know about the Fusion Motion, what equipment you get with it and how to set it up. I'm going to start with explaining a bit about the board itself. Now the board is made to stand on. It has a roll on each side to allow the resistance bands to slide through it nice and easily. If you look at the underneath of the board, you will see lots of little pieces sticking out. This is so you can attach these little red clamps, which you will then later connect the resistance bands to. Now, of course, the further away each of these red pieces is away from the roll, the more resistance you will have. The closer it is to the roll, the less resistance you will have. I'll start explaining the first piece of equipment and that is the handles that you will use for the push-ups. Now, how does this work? Very simple. On the top of the platform, you'll see many different holes where you can insert your handles into. All right, so the wide neutral grip ones are my favorite ones. They offer the biggest range of motion. The closer ones target your triceps a bit more. You've got the the horizontal ones, the pronated grip, and you've got the semi-grip, which is like this. I would just play around with it, see which one feels most comfortable for you, and also see which one you work the most muscle with. The second piece of equipment that we are going to go over is the bar. Now the bar very simply attaches together with a screw in the middle like so. With the bar often you will need the resistance bands. Now we have the red and the black one and except for the color the only difference is the resistance. The red ones are less resistant than the black ones. So if, you're, so if you're new to training, I would recommend you start off using the red ones. Once you get to know the exercise, you can replace the red ones with the black resistance bands. If the black resistance bands are still not tough enough for you, you can combine both. So I'm gonna show you with one on each side how this works. If you were to connect just a black resistance band to the bar, you would simply clip one side onto the bar. Then we will look at the underneath of the platform. This goes around the outside of the roll and it loops around the little clamps that you have under it, okay? You do this for both sides and that's how you mount them. So if you want to make this black resistance band tougher, you place it further away, like there. If you want to make it easier, you place it closer to the roll, which gives you more line on top and less resistance, okay? So how would it work if you want to combine a red and a black one on each side? That's very simple. You place both the bands on one clip. You pass them both through the outside of the red roll on your platform. And this then inserts together on the board. Now you can do it this way or another way that I do it often is I place one on one clip and I place the other collar on the other. Just make sure the bands don't cross each other because you'll lose the friction. Well, it increases friction and it makes it tougher than it should be. So make sure they're nice and separate so the exercise flows nicely. While we talk about this bar, I'm gonna go over one more piece of equipment. And therefore, you will have to unscrew both parts. This is the wheel. The wheel is for certain ab exercises as well as maybe some others. It would be very good if you had the manual next to this video so you can cross check what I'm saying with some of your exercises that you might like in the book. You simply place the wheel in the middle of the bar and you screw it together again. Now, 
same here. If you want to use some resistance bands, you simply clip them to the ends, pass them through the outside of the rolls and attach them to a clamp on the underneath. Same here, the black one is more resistant than the red one. So now we've gone over the bar, the push-up handles, the resistance bands and the wheel. We're going to go over to these ankle straps. How do these work? Very simple. You simply strap it around your ankle, loop it through the metal ring and tighten it. So this ankle strap is used for certain hip exercises as well as maybe some glutes and some ab exercises. The attachment that's most commonly used with this is a resistance band. It will need a clip on each side. So you have one of these metal clips on each side. You simply clip it onto this and whatever you want to, okay? A fun thing to note about this ankle strap is you can close your fusion motion and use your ankle strap to keep it nice and shut and it looks nice as well. The next accessory that we're going to go over are the handles. These work very similar to the bar which means that you will need a resistance band. One side clips onto the handle, the other side goes on the outside of the roll and attaches to one of the clamps on the inside. Same as the bar, if you want to make it tougher, you pull it further away from the roll and you attach it. If you want to make it easier, you have it closer. Something I didn't mention before is make sure that each band, I'll take this other black band as an example, is symmetrical to the one on the other side. So an incorrect way of attaching the bands would be to have one over here, I'll remove these so you can see it better, to put one over here and one over here. What would be the correct way? You'd either have to correct this one so these are at the same height or have them a bit further away so then again they are at the same height okay the last piece of equipment we have is this the reason why we have moved location is because this is something that you have to place behind a door to change the angle at which you use your resistance bands now it works very simply i'm going to use a metal clip to simply clip it onto a resistance band and all you have to do is open the door and jam it behind okay this allows you to do lots of exercises from a different angle all right like in the beginning the ankle straps you might want to attach to the bottom part of the door and so on be creative with these uh, pieces of equipment so the band might be attached to this door piece or to the fusion motion platform or simply a table. Be creative but most important be safe, don't get injured with anything. Okay. This video just summarized everything that comes in your package and how to install it to your fusion motion board or to each other. If you're looking for exercise demonstrations go and check out the other videos. And don't forget to comment down below if you do have any questions about the equipment still. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have fun with it.